Hi there and welcome to this lecture about Mesopotamia. My name is Marcus Henriksson and I'm a history teacher here in Sweden. Mesopotamia is a geographical area that is between the rivers Euphrat and Tigris in today's Iraq. The first society, Hasauna, existed before 6000 BC, that is over 8000 years ago. But you should know that several important civilizations have sprung up in this area such as the Akkadians, the Sumerians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians, and so on. How and why, you might ask? Well, a surplus of food, which could in fact lead to the emergence of the first states, not only in Mesopotamia, but also in India, China, Egypt, and so on. We now also can see new professions arose, such as priests, miners, blacksmiths, weavers, merchants, doctors, soldiers, etc. The surplus of food provided the means for people to diversify what they were doing with their spare time. In ancient Greece we can see the start of the modern philosophers, but in other societies we can see different professions, different rules, and so on. Who ruled in ancient Mesopotamia? Well, first priests, but then they changed to kings as the society became increasingly advanced. So at the top we have a king. The upper class consisted of priests and military leaders. The middle class were soldiers, traders and artisans. The lower class were usually farmers and miners. And at the bottom we have slaves. There are several important and large cities in Mesopotamia, such as Uruk and Ur. They existed 5000 BC. They are especially known for their great temples, the ziggurats, which you can see in the picture here. But the largest city in this area were Babylon. It had over 100,000 inhabitants and was one of the largest cities on earth during this time. Did the Tower of Babylon exist, you might ask? Well, it is mentioned in the Bible, but it didn't reach to the skies. It might have been around 90 meters tall and there is evidence that it has actually existed building description on stone tablets ruins and so on and it was probably built by the jews during the so-called the babylonian captivity which is also mentioned in the bible the Babylonians and Mesopotamians were good at many things. They were very skilled in and with various metals, bronze, and so on, and the creation of various weapons and tools. We also know that they were very skilled and good at textiles and excellent at gardening. What was the key to their success? Well, they rewarded those who joined their expanding empire voluntarily. By becoming a part of their kingdom gave people a lot of benefits, such as increased trade but also military protection. The price you paid was that a certain amount of taxes had to be paid to the rulers, plus a certain amount of troops if they were ever needed.
which they were because war. What did you do with those who said no? Well, usually they were killed or enslaved. And they were even more cruel to the leaders who said no. Usually they were skinned alive, burned alive, etc. The most famous king from Mesopotamia is probably Sargon of Akkad. Or Cyrus. He is best known for the so-called Cyrus Silander, which is the first reported human rights. And you can see them in the British Museum in London. Such as the right of religion, uh, the right to have property, and so on. Darius is also a famous king from the Mesopotamia area. He founded a new large city, Persepolis, and divided the empire into 20 smaller areas for better control. But he did also invade Greece, which ended at the Battle of Marathon in 490 BC. He was then followed by this king, Xerxes. And Xerxes attacked Greece once again and succeeded in burning down Athens. But his fleet was defeated at the Battle of Salamis year 479 BC. It was basically a total failure. Here are some important inventions from the Mesopotamia area. The wheel, 5500 BC. The world's first language, or written language, at least. The laws of Humarabi. Time and math, 60 minutes per hour, 24 hours per day. It came from Mesopotamia. Also 360 degrees. And that it takes 12 months to have a full year and 30 days per month. They could also predict solar eclipses. And they were extremely good at medicine. They were the first ones in the world to make diagnoses and forecasts. And they also gave us the first documented religion. Here is An, god of the sky. Ki, earth goddess. Enki, god of water, Enlil, god of the wind, Utu, god of the sun, Nana, god of the moon, and so on. For the Mesopotamian people, sacrifice to the gods were extremely important. They usually sacrificed animals. Here is the high point for the Assyrian Empire around 650 BC. Here is the high point of Persia around 500 BC. They controlled 44% of the world's population. But they were conquered and defeated by Alexander the Great. But after him we can see the Sassanid Empire. The Sassanids and the Byzantian Empire, they came into conflict with each other and therefore both became militarily weaker. This combined with brilliant Muslim generals made it possible for the Arabs to conquer this entire empire for themselves. So I hope that you during this lecture have learned something new about Mesopotamia. Here are the sources I have used for this lecture. A History of World Societies of John P. McKay. World History a New Perspective by Clyde Ponting. Perspective on History by Lars Hans and Orian Nyström. History by Elisabeth Ivansson, Robert Sandberg and Matthias Todai. Wikipedia Mesopotamia History Files. Mesopotamia Assyria. Historical Secrets Season 4 Episode 1 Babylon's, Babylon's Tower or Babylon's Tower Also YouTube Mesopotamia by Mikael Bruyer 
The Sumerian Renaissance, Ancient Mesopotamia Documentary, Entire History of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, Darius I and the Greatest Lion History, Rise of Sumer, Cradle of Civilization Documentary, Humurambi, the ancient lawgiver who created the Babylonian Empire, and Rise and Fall of the Akkadian Empire. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.